Hi, and welcome to the video instructions for editing your proof in Adobe Reader. First of all, congratulations on getting a proof. This is a major milestone, and we are happy that you're able to see a product. Uh, in this video, you'll learn how to do the following things. Uh, they may seem intimidating right now, but they are fairly straightforward, and we do recommend you see the whole video. However, if you'd like to skip any of them, you can click on the screen right now, and it'll take you to that section immediately. So first of all, let's open the file we sent you. It should be a PDF file, and it should look something like what you see on the screen right now. Now, in order to do edits, the first thing we need to do is open up the Comments and Markup toolbar. To do so, go to View on the top corner there, and then click on Toolbars, and then go to Comments and Markup. And you should be able to click on that. And when you do, it should open a toolbar, uh, such as the one you see on the screen right now. Now let's talk about editing text. So this only applies if you're editing the actual text of the proof. So not the photos, not the formatting, just the words. So in order to do that, we need to click on the second option on the toolbar, which says text edits. And when you do that, you may see a warning. Uh, you can basically ignore this, although it is the exact same instructions that I'm giving in this video. So the first thing we'll learn, it will be replacing text. So this is when you want to replace existing text with new text. So let's look at the example that I have in this video. In this video, I chose this one. So let's say I want to change prologue and I want it to be introduction. What I do is first highlight that and then I start typing introduction. And when I do that, you'll see a blue box appear like that, and what you typed out will show up. And that's it. You've replaced that text with new text. So to go over it again, to replace text, you highlight the section of the text you want to replace, and then you just start typing. Highlight, and then type. Moving on, deleting text. So you only want to use this when you want to delete text without replacing it. So if you just want to get rid of it and not have anything else in there. In order to do so, it's basically the same thing. So in this example, I want to erase an entire paragraph. I don't like it for some reason. So I highlight the entire paragraph, and then I press delete on the keyboard. And when you do that, you'll see a red line strike through the text that you've just deleted. And that tells you that you've done it correctly. So repeating again, deleting text, you highlight the section of the text you want to delete, and then you press the delete button. In the next section, we'll learn about adding new text. So you only want to use this when you're adding text without replacing existing text. So only when there's nothing there before. In my example, I want to add something at the end of this paragraph. Um, so there's no deleting, I'm not replacing anything. So what I do is click at the end of the paragraph where I want it to be, and then I start typing. And it's the same thing. You see a blue box, and what you type will show up in the blue box. Uh, to recap, adding new text, you want to click on the place where you want the new text to begin, and then you start typing whatever it is that is the new text. Let's move on to editing the formatting. So this includes things such as pictures, if you want to change the color of something, if you want to change the size of something, if you want to change the margins. But it's not for editing the actual text. That's what we've been doing. So if you want to do anything like that, use the tools that I've shown you so far. So to do these formatting edits, we will be using sticky notes. Now sticky notes are very different from what we've been doing so far. So go back to the Comments and Markup toolbar and go to Sticky Notes at the very left-hand side. You'll see the cursor itself change. Now, let's say in my example, I want to change the first two lines because it's double-spaced, and I don't want that. 
So I click on the margins and this time you'll see a yellow box appear. And in that box, you can leave notes to the designer saying, in my case, single space, please. Now, one word about this is that if you have a change that repeats throughout the book, then only use one sticky note to give that notice. So let's say in my case, I want to change the way the chapter headings look. Uh, maybe I want it bigger or something. So I click on the margins and I leave a note and say, please change the font size. But I only need to do this once, as long as I put in the notes and say very clearly that I want all of the chapter headings to be changed. Now let's move on to some general tips. Some of you may have figured this out already, but you can only use one text editing tool per change. So if you want to replace a text, you just use the replace function, not delete and then insert. You only use one. Also, if you're going to switch between text editing and sticky notes, then you actually have to go back to the comment and markup toolbar and click on them separately. As you can see, I'm just going back and forth right now. Now, the last step is saving the file. Um, so in order to do that, you go to File, up at the top left-hand corner there, and then you click Save. And you should be done, and then you can send it to us in an email. Again, congratulations on getting a proof. This is a big deal, and we're excited for you. Now, if you still find yourself confused, then don't worry. You can either email us or call us, or you can even watch this video again. And I've even made it easier so that you can click on the video right now in the different sections, as you can see, and it will take you to, to that section of the video. Um, so you can click on the screen right now if you want to see any of these things again. Thanks for listening and watching, and we can't wait to see your book. <laughs>